costume shop and Avery really whipped that up. Shout out to Jones Fabric. It yeah. A combination of a Joanne's, Viking helmet. And Joanne's her. Fabric. What'd I say? Jones. Oh, my bad. Well, now do it the right way. Joanne's. Shout out to Joanne's Fabric in Vegas. <laughs> this fucking... He, he acts like a petulant child. Now he won't do it. He's like... Nah, nah, nah. Um, realized it was full of sugar, and I don't eat sugar. I've never had sugar. So we're all trying to get better, eat better. But healthy breakfasts don't have to be boring. Do you think that healthy breakfasts have to be boring? I don't think so. But you did. I used to. Why? Because I hadn't heard of this company. But why did you think that healthy breakfast had to be boring? Because I don't know. You do like you, you, you do you spinach know. with like a poached egg. It's boring. But you know that you could have meats in there. I guess I could. You could have bacon and sausage. Yeah, it's boring. It's boring to have eggs and bacon yeah, or smoked salmon. It's so traditional and or ancient grains. I don't know. It's boring. That's what my parents. Why said. did you think it was boring when you know if you have an American cheese omelet with bacon, it's fucking good. If you have a Western omelet, it's good. Why did you think it was boring? Because I want so a sugary cereal to get my day That's going. That's a different question. <laughs> you just said that you believed healthy breakfasts were boring. I'm telling you that breakfast is the easiest meal to eat healthy because you can choose a, an array of meats and cheeses and veggies mm -hmm. to make something really cool like a frittata. And you're sitting here with a shitty <laughs> grin on your face and you refuse to tell me why you think healthy breakfasts are boring? Why are they boring? It's it's boring to be healthy, in my opinion. It's boring Is to be healthy. Is that what's happening, or I, are you lying because of the ad? No, I want to be you stimulated. Lying? Are you lying because in the ad, it says that, and you're agreeing with no, the ad? No, when I eat an omelet, I want to fall asleep. They deserve, I'm so bored. They deserve better than you lying to them. I'm not lying to you. You're lying right now. I'm not. <laughs> because if I brought you... Eggs scrambled with American cheese and chicken sausage and spinach and salsa and all. You would like it. Yeah, I'd like that. So what the fuck is wrong with you? Why are you lying? It's still less exciting than a bowl of sugary cereal. I do like cereal. <laughs> what are we talking about? Magic Spoon cereal. What is it? You could probably find it on the dark web or something. It's floating around. Mm. You don't even have to go to the dark web. It's tough to watch. I don't even know where Ben finds these things. I don't know what he even does. I don't know what he does with his time when he's not with me. I don't know what he does. He just sits in his garage and watching people murder each other. <laughs> I mean, what What is wrong with him? Pickleball and um, me and Ben, of course, are going to play together. But then they said, well, you're both beginners. so You should play with the other people there. So we did. And it was... Now you look at me and you look at Ben and you're like, oh, Ben, he's going to be the athlete. Ben was so bad at this game. And he kept cheating by going into this area where you were not supposed to go into. Um, it was so embarrassing. Now they're in gym clothes. Me and Ben have jeans on because we didn't really know. It was raining. We didn't know it was going to happen. And um, I was doing pretty damn good. Like a few of the other people there were like, you're going to be really good at this. I had a great, you know, because I... I play tennis as a kid a little bit, and I, I know how to really just kind of hit the ball, just have it sail right over the net. Ben was aggressively, you know, we're playing doubles, and Ben was aggressively trying to, like, hit the ball in front of the other people and then just failing miserably at it. Did you know how bad you were doing? I charged the net a couple times. It was embarrassing. Did you feel how how bad you were doing? I had a, a couple of were them you told me shocked how good at, I was actually. Who told you that? Well, I can't say his name, but he he was not. <laughs> I was doing very well. You were great at serving. Very good at serving. You know what? <laughs> you know what? See, this is what he's trying to do. I was doing really, really well. Okay. I do what I do well, and Ben likes to pretend he does everything well. I was, I'm an amazing server. And then I could also do the volley, but I also feel like after I've done the serve, I should be done for the point. <laughs> I don't want to run around the court like a psychopath. It's unbecoming of a man of my stature. So I do the serve, and then the other person runs around like a monkey. And then I was good at returning too. He's being a piece of shit because he was <laughs> he was genuinely embarrassing. And these are, these are really rich, successful people judging us. And the pig is murdering it Running around the court, doing what I have to do. 
Uh, and then the, this guy's uh, uh, family walked in, and then they were all staring there watching Ben just wildly run around. And it was so, it was hard to see. It was hard to see for me because I felt bad for Ben. I was embarrassed for Ben. We'd never done anything athletic before. And you, you thought, you were thinking that I was just going to not be good at all. That's not true at all. That's what you felt. No, I know but you what were a swimmer and everything. Yeah, pipe down. What happened was <laughs> I was phenomenal. I was pretty damn good. The guy looked at me and said, you are going to be very good at this. The other guy. The main guy said you were good. When did he say that? He actually said twice. He's like, wow, that was really impressive when I was up there. Like, I had a couple times where it was yeah, like Yeah, that's insane. one isolated thing. That's not a review of your performance for the entire day. Mm. It's what you did one or two good things. I don't think I missed a serve, though. Like, I didn't, I didn't hit a serve out of bounds, though. I had the serves I, were pretty I good. I was just saying, between me and you, would you argue that I did a little better? Uh, oh, wow. Overall? Yeah, overall. You, you won more games. Well, that would be that. They care about winning. You understand? Mm -hmm. What metric are you deciding? I won more games. What metric are you going off of? Um, inner belief. Well, anyway, <laughs> I yelled at Ben once when he was late, and I'm sorry about that. It was uh, very sad. To do, to raise my voice to him, it was it was not right. When he showed up at a, when I had to take a, a, a car, uh, he had to bring his car so I could take a road test, and he said it was on E and that I shouldn't worry about it, and to just tell the instructor of the road test that it's okay, we have 90 miles left, which is the most irresponsible thing you could do. I probably would have been failed right off the bat, but that's okay. I And then I yelled at him, and I said, what did I say to you that day? Um, that you were going to, like, bash my skull in? I said I was going to bash his skull in, and I called him a drunk, which was ironic because he was two years sober. But I was hitting the, the thing in the car, and I, I scared him a little bit, but that's what I do. I'm scary and mean. I'm a scary pig who comes in and ruins everybody's life. And the fact that they're even having this wedding right now after everything I've put these two through is uh, amazing to me. So again, I just want everyone to raise their glass <laughs> um, to Ben and Katie, who have made it through the disease, the real pandemic, which is Tim Dillon. Um, I know every day and every moment they both wish I die <laughs> and just hope that they're in my will so that they can spend my money while I die, which is the best case scenario for everybody. So with that being said, I'm going to go back to my Bluebell ice cream while I sit here at this wedding alone and try to think of reasons not to kill myself on the dance floor, which we don't have because of COVID or Jesus or whoever. Um, and uh, I'm going to listen to the fiddle band with Ben's brother as we both sit here lonely and have a seventh helping of barbecue and sit in the chairs and uh, basically stare at everyone else who has love in their life. Thank you, everyone. Please subscribe to our Patreon. And uh, please get an NFT of me killing myself, which Ben will be shooting if he has the time. I'm sure they'll take a nine-month honeymoon after this. And if I call them and ask them what's going on, they'll be like, who is it again? Oh, it's that terrorist. He wants me to do some work. So, again, uh, I want to thank both of them. They're such interesting people, both of them. Uh, I love talking to them about the things that happened in their neighborhood uh, or someone who might have gotten shot that day or a dog that was lost that they found. Um, that's the, oh, very illuminating to me, the types of discussions that I've been uh, privileged to have with both of them at tables mm. about uh, avocado toast and someone who may have been shot or it might have been a firework. So again, thank you, everyone. CPBeef.com. We had steaks the other day. Stop laughing. No, ben laughs. He's so stupid <laughs> because CP is like short for child porn. So he laughs like an idiot, like a child. I'm trying to do my job 
and do this ad, and I believe in this product because I use it, and you use it. Do you not eat the steaks? I did. We ate it literally yesterday. And just yeah. because it's cpbeef.com is the thing, you can't get through it with a straight face. cpbeef.com. Discount code Tim Dillon, 25% off. You will not find child porn. What you will find <laughs> is a great selection of grass-fed tender cuts of meat. That CP... You know, uh, this is going to end bad. We was were that like five or ten, Ben? Five. So then why did you put up both hands? I didn't know if you could see on What a horrible producer. <laughs> He's a horrible producer. He's He's horrible. holding out his hands like Jesus. On the cross. There's not a day I don't regret meeting him and what he's done to my show and my career. <laughs> He's just destroyed it. <laughs> Completely destroyed it. Um, Large problem in this country. People do not want to work. Um, because of the stimulus, you see what happens. People do not want to work. They don't need to. They don't need to come in and do their jobs. So we're here because Ben Avery has decided that he is part of some labor movement uh, because he doesn't think he needs to work. He doesn't think he's treated well here. So he's decided to not show up. I talk to business owners all over this country, and they are telling me they cannot get anyone to work. Uh, I, I mean, it's absolutely absurd that these people will not do their jobs. They won't do them. They just won't show up. Well, look who it is. What what is what is this issue you're having? I need to get paid in like real money. You're are you're paid in safe moon. Doesn't I got a bills, I got a wife. This show barely makes any money. We don't have any money. I can't pay you any kind of money and stay afloat. I just saw that article that you make a ton of money. I had no idea. The media is going to present things in any way they want to. You have a unique opportunity here. Well, my landlord doesn't take safe moon. It's, or- a, un- it's a unique opportunity. You're building an infrastructure. Do you see what I mean? And by building an infrastructure, you then will one day sit behind the big microphone. That's the goal. All right. I just, I'd like to get paid in like not Safe Moon, but. Well, we'll talk about it off air. I think Safe Moon is fun. What about Litecoin? <laughs> That'd be fine. Yeah. You're going to work your way up to Ethereum. <laughs> we don't start at Ethereum. But get some of these statistics up. Nobody is working. And these are good jobs mm-hmm. like Arby's. Mm-hmm. These aren't bad jobs. Mm-hmm. These are good jobs. I like earbuds. What do you like about them? Uh, well, you know, as an audio engineer, I really need... Will you shut up? You're an audio engineer? Uh, technically. What are you engineering? My screaming? Yeah, kind of. There's compressors. What and about stuff earbuds? And the dog was wearing a vest that said DEA. <laughs> so odd. These dogs. Dogs with jobs. I'm, of course, kidding. Um, we will see everyone uh, <laughs> next week. Ben writes the whole show. Ben, if you have any problem with anything I say, Ben writes a script. He hands it to me. I deliver it every single episode. This is the Nazi. This is the problem. You have a problem with me? You have a problem with him? I'll go, I'll go woke. I'm just the puppet. He's the one who writes the script. If he writes a different script, I will say... Different things. I want to be on Lily Singh's show. I want to be on Lily Singh's show. <laughs> Imagine looking at Lily Singh and going, I'm, I can't make it in comedy. Why it works. Mm-hmm. He's a happy guy. Ben is a demon. I mean, Ben is as dark. At, what did, what did, can, do you remember your exact quote from the car about East Cleveland last night? Oh, I said I was trying to learn about East Cleveland on the plane. And He's from, the darkest human being. And from what I can tell, it's just like people go to East Cleveland to like murder crackheads after they rape them. That was the first thing he said five minutes, in the car, five, five minutes, minutes in. in. He goes, and he has the delivery like this. Hey guys, hit the vape. He's like, people in East Cleveland are just murdering the crackheads they've raped. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm 
I'm like, oh, what a fun. <laughs> uh, we're going up right now. We're going up. Going up. Ben is now in the stocks. He like thinks he's an investment, like a financial advisor, and he's been trading stocks secretly for how long without letting me know? Like three weeks. Yeah, and he's not letting me know because he wants to, I think he wants to leave the show and he wants to create uh, an infrastructure. We have to create an infrastructure. And he wants to uh, make enough money now in the in capital markets where he just doesn't have to do this show anymore because he truly, really hates me. <laughs> That's the thing about him that none of you understand is that Every day he sits here and he just wishes he had the guts to plunge a kitchen knife into my throat. He's heard me talk more than anyone. He really has. Think about that. You guys hear me talk an hour a week, two hours a week if you're on the Patreon. Uh, ben just hears me talk for hours and hours and at, to a point where it's like, not only I'm sure is it not fun, the grating nature of my voice has to just, it's just like he drives home in his little Tesla. And then he's probably just like, fuck that guy. The Antifa burned down our studio. They were young children dressed in black. They came in. They threw Molotov cocktails through the window. They beat me pretty badly. I don't think Ben was in on it, but I can't know. So we're doing an internal investigation. Uh, it was a little weird. Ben did let them in, much like the Capitol riot. He's now claiming that he didn't know they were dangerous. But they did not harm him, not a hair on his head. I was beaten and the studio was destroyed. So we are again here one day late with an audio only episode. Mm -hmm. And occasionally you can bring a burger home for your baby. Mm -hmm. Who you should get started on liking that burger as early as possible. So it's absurd. It's really absurd. Mm -hmm. The anger do you understand what I'm saying? Do you understand? Are you embarrassed now as an employee complaining to me? A little bit, yeah. Have you ever paid for a meal in your life? Never. And you're asking me for money to work at this job. Do you not enjoy this job? I do. And, you're, and you still come to me and say, I want actual money. Mm -hmm. And you and your wife want actual money. This is a bit. Ben earns <laughs> more than he deserves, <laughs> truly. And, 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 and I, I, what I've done for him and his wife is unimaginable. What I've done for everyone in my life is, 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 is quite frankly unimaginable. Not my family, but most, most others. Really, it's only Ben. It's really just Ben. But this is a bit. So don't infer in, 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 in any, don't think that he in any. Yeah. I'm not leaving the show. I'm not. Yeah. yeah. And are, are, aren't you happy? We do take care of you. Very, yeah. Yeah, okay. Don't start because <laughs> people are so dumb out there. They don't know this is a bit. But this is not a bit. This is a fair wage. <laughs> Always. Ben's whole thing now is Signal. Talk about Signal with everyone. Do you use Signal? Should I be using Signal? Whitney Webb said it's good. If, I'm sure it is, Ben. But she's, you know, she's, you know, in some hut where people are trying to kill her. You're eating macaroni and cheese on a picnic table, which was phenomenal today. And and they're they're very evil. It says they're like half wolf. Well, no, I don't. I don't know that you are really. You're very bad at this. It's kind of interesting how bad you are at looking things. Well, up. this is from mythology. I mean, you're like good, you're good at other things, but you're really not good at this, right? I mean, you. This is and even people comment. This is where you don't really add anything. But I don't shine. Well, you can't even get to what I'm talking about. It's very strange that you 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 can't even get to it. You're pulling up uh, pictures of hyenas. This is from mythology. What about the movie Underworld Rise of the Lycans? Can you Google Underworld Rise of the Lycans, please? Thank you. Mm, interesting. Do you see what I mean? Mm -hmm. F what the fuck is F-bodied? It's, it's what they identify as now, F-bodied. Jesus fucking Christ. Fat-bodied. Um, now see. we're talking that you got Trans Ams up there. <laughs> and I mean cars, not... YouTube, relax. F-bodied activist, maybe. Just put fat activist in, Ben. Don't start getting fucking fancy with your Reddit terms. Let's get a fat activist here to tell us what the- Online- <laughs> Secure your online data today. I'm going to kill myself in this chair. Where's our studio, you fucking nothing? Secure your- You big failure. Big zero, Ben. Secure your online data today by visiting- <laughs> 
It would be it would be funny one day if you'd sat here and I just did you. Like we had a crossover called the Ben Avery Show and you produced and I hosted. Yeah. And you would just go, hello. Start, just practice. Do what you would do the first minute. Hello, everybody. I'm here with I'm here with my co-host and producer Tim Dillon. <laughs> uh we went to Vegas this weekend. <laughs> Vegas is uh, it's a crazy place with crazy people. You know, the thing I like about Vegas is that <laughs> <laughs> the valet people at the casinos now are thankful. That's what you have? That's all you have? It's a, it's a 60 second podcast. But you were copying a lot of what I said, which was disappointing to me. Well, actually, how about this? The Ben Avery show should be a recap of the Tim Dillon show every week. We do three days later, no where I talk about what you talk about. <clears throat> no one's doing that. Do you see what happens when you let him speak? How, how crazy and off the rails it gets? People like you. A lot of people like you because they don't know you. This is, this is true. They don't really know you because they've 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 been allowed little parts of you. I've only showed them the parts of you that I feel will help you out. Yes. But they don't know the parts of you that need not only the uh, leather strap but the buckle. Whereas when you, uh, you need Ben needs to get the buckle, where it's like you just you ever get hit with a buckle? Yeah, my dad used to do paddle and belt. Yeah, with a buckle. Well, like the I think sometimes I got hit with the buckle, but not across the face, if that's what you mean. But on my right. ass. It's a lot. My but, butt. But you need, well, you need those beatings. Big paddle. Yeah, well, you, need, you, need, you need more of that. You need to live in constant fear for your life. And that is when you are at your best. That's when Do you have anything to plug? I always plug everything I'm doing, but I forget that you have a very interesting life. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram at Ben Avery is good. You have breakdowns every now and then where you like put up like this is the drip and you put up like you're in a shirt or something. I thought it was funny. Yeah. <laughs> and then if you follow me on Twitter, the same handle, uh, I post usually links to the Patreon episodes there. Oh, good. Are you going to see your wife? She's out in L.A. right now. Is she watching the kids? Watching the kids, but tomorrow we're all going to go to dinner, me and my brother, you. Don't tell people what we're doing. <laughs> people know they're going to show up and try to kill me. With newly married Ben Avery, you finally did it. You made it legal with the old battle axe. And now a long, happy life together. Uh, recap of the wedding, which was lovely, is on uh, Patreon. And um, I had a great time. I enjoyed it. I really did. Truly. Everyone loved it. I liked it. Um, and and even the parts of it I didn't know that I would think I would enjoy, um, like the exorcism, for example. They did an exorcism where they brought a child out in a tub and... <laughs> they kept putting it in the water. And then there was a lot of screaming, but then your mother said, that's how it, you know it's working. Mm -hmm. It's the demon leaving. Well, I didn't know that. And it was lovely. And then we had we did the cake. Um, I want to start off. He's smoking in the car. So I, get an ashtray or something, Ben. Jesus Christ, these people. And mm -hmm. I, uh, thank you. I'll, yeah, sure, I'll use a bottle of water. Um, that's awful. I want to quit, but I also thought, should I just bring an ashtray wherever I go? Get a little soap dish, Ben, for the cigarette. Jesus Christ. Thank you. Get me a soap dish. Look at this. They know people. It's hard to even say. It's hard to vocalize. It's hard to get out of my mouth. It's hard to... Ben... Why are you <laughs> laughing? <laughs> I don't. Why are you laughing? What's funny about this? I don't know. I don't know. Five months ago, Ben's wife told us she was having an affair with Joe Rogan. <laughs> it was uncomfortable. <laughs> we respect and love Joe. He's incredibly generous. Nobody has done more for comics than Joe. No one. But. Even even that being the case, it was still tough to hear that Ben's fiance, his wife, was having sex with Joe, who had been so good to both of us. It put 
us in a very difficult position. His wife then informed us that she was going to keep the affair going. <laughs> and in order to do that, we needed to move to Austin, Texas, so she could continue to have sex with Joe. Ben, being a good husband, <laughs> dutifully agreed, and he came to me and he said, Katie wants to keep having sex with Joe Rogan. Do you think we should move to Austin to make it easier for her so that she doesn't have to keep flying? And I agreed. I said yes. So Ben's wife has been carrying on an affair with Joe. Even the morning <laughs> of their nuptials. They got married. But in, in the morning of that day, <clears throat> she was having sexual congress with Joe Rogan. And, and she told Ben that at the wedding in front of a few of us. She had had a few drinks. She said, I just want you to know I fucked Joe this morning. <laughs> now, something happened. There was a disagreement I don't know what happened. We're not privy to that information. And I don't want to speculate. But Ben's wife has ceased her affair with Joe. She has stopped. She is no longer having an affair with Joe. Yes. She's back to sleeping with Ben. Mm. Now, it is awkward <laughs> living in Austin, Texas. So... The announcement is as follows. Because of Ben's wife and only Ben's wife, mm -hmm. it is time to leave Austin, Texas. The Tim Dillon Show will be leaving Austin, Texas. Do you have anything to add? You rarely do. <laughs> uh, to, uh, to the show? Uh, to but, anything. Uh, I've been having a good time with you here in L.A. It's been fun. Have we? Uh, the the chocolate souffles were were delicious and so what they're very good. I like the souffles here. Do you realize the content you bring is horrible? <laughs> like if we relied on you, we'd be broke. I said, do you have anything to add? You said I like the cake that we had earlier today. We'll go broke with that kind of <laughs> content. Nobody wants that shit. He can't even. He doesn't even have a line at the end. I go. You have anything for anybody? And you go, yeah, the cake we had was good. The souffle cake was good. Yeah, thanks. That's clippable. Should that be the clip, everyone? <laughs> Should we put that out on social media? That Ben likes the souffle that we had. It's if I die of COVID, everyone's going to go, we had a souffle. <laughs> you see? That's what happens. I, I know it's going to be a tough discussion to have. Are you nervous about it? No, no. Katie's uh, ride or die. I understand that. Yeah, yeah. And she was riding Joe. Is there a way? We need to gaslight her into thinking that she made us move here because she has a crush <laughs> on Joe. But we need we need to leave. Mm -hmm. There's there's nothing else to be said about it. Mm -hmm. Really good. I just get in the middle of the room like Bud Dwyer and go, good night. Just to see like blood all over Ben and his wife's face. As they said, they'll have made enough money then so they won't care. And they, they just sit there eating unaffected. Yeah. Yeah. Having their basic bitch conversations about nonsense. About God only knows what they talk about. When I'm dead, they can't talk about killing me. Talk about the length of grass on someone's lawn. You know? How much money are you making on this app? I've made, I've made a little bit of money. I get all of it. I don't understand why you think you're making money on this thing. I'll kill you. I think you're make. I think you're making uh, some decent dough. I'm not making anything, by the way. I'm not making anything. If people would start participating and follow me on Versus App, then I would start making money. That's right. But Ben is making money and I'm not, which is going to result in me hitting him with my car. <laughs> And then I'll ask that question on Versus App. Mm. Why did I hit Ben with my car? Oh, you know what's a good one we could do? Well, there. But I still feel that 
quality to be objectionable in some of my friends. Um, like what I what I like about Ben is that I love Ben. He's like my best friend, but also what I don't like about Ben is that he's not good at golf. And I am really good at golf, and he's not a good golfer, never was. That's what bothers me about him. Now, obviously, that's funny because Ben was a very good golfer, and I don't golf at all. But the reality is Ben knows if I put my mind to it, I could be the greatest golfer in the world. And maybe I'll do that. I'll quit comedy so I could just be the greatest golfer of all time. And he has to stand on the sidelines and just... While I walk up 18 at Augusta, and the crowd roars my name... They roar my name, and I just walk there, and I hold the club up. <laughs> and I just have those khakis and that polo shirt, and everybody's just happy. And You said golfers are boring. Very boring. What if the only thing keeping me sober was driving? Oh, man. Right? <laughs> would you feel pretty stupid then, huh? Yeah, I would. You convinced me to get rid of my car. But it's, it's true. I, I, you should drive. Because you're like a wage slave, and I'm regal, mm. and a, a king should never drive. He should be driven. That's right. But a wage slave, mm. and I want to get you a little box here for you to punch in and punch out. I want to hear the sound. <laughs> <laughs> Star of Curb Your Enthusiasm will be joining us later on in the broadcast. Great to talk to Jeff. Big fan of Curb, which you, uh, you hate that show. No, 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 no. I like that you, show a you lot. You hate it. Mm -mm. You hate it. Mm. And you hate Larry David and you hate Jerry Seinfeld and you hate everything. You're the one who hates. No, I think he's just full but, of shit. But when he says stuff like that, the stock just goes up. Oh, great. Yeah. That's great. So. Good. Well, I hope when you're in your car and you're incinerated, <laughs> this, the stock price makes you feel comfortable as you and your wife are burning to death in your Tesla because this guy told you it was going to drive you home. You have to tell you have to tell your wife, and then I'll have to give you guys a bunch of money, which I have no problem doing. But, you know, it's it's unfortunate. What, what do you feel about this? Be very honest here. Because you got excited to come back to Texas, and it started worrying me because you and your wife started going to see fiddle players, and you're like, oh, you should come see the fiddle player with us. And I got very nervous because I said, this is everything you left to not be. Mm -hmm. Somebody, some fucking, some guy sitting in a field listening to a fiddle player. I don't like uh, the golf courses here. I don't like the food. Well, that's nice. Yeah. You don't like the golf here. Not at all. What is the problem with it? I don't like link style courses. Right. I like uh, I like a Nicholas designed course in LA somewhere. Right. Shut I up. Like you don't know what cares. But that's, <laughs> it's important. It's important that there are things you also don't like. The food's trash. It's not good. It's trash. I'm long on a couple things. Ben thinks he's Warren Buffett. Because <laughs> he has $750. <laughs> After he fucks his wife, she goes to bed and he goes down to his basement and goes on Reddit and just stares at the Dogecoin dog <laughs> for three hours. And yet he's been on Reddit every day for like the last two years, but somehow wasn't on it enough to make me any fucking money when we could have went in a GME fucking early. I got on that fucking train late and got thrown the fuck off it. You could have came to It me. was just a meme. I didn't think it was really going to be a revolution. I didn't really think it was going to take off. Well, we could have made some fucking money, dude, if you had fucking caught a fucking glimpse of what was happening. It's insanely inappropriate to show up at somebody's hotel room and demand to, 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 to see them at 3.30 in the morning. And you told your wife. Ben's wife is all spooked. Yeah. Yeah, she was she's excited. scared. She was a little scared. She was, she, she was, she was scared that the woman w wasn't going to kill me. She was scared that the woman was thrown out. Then now that's another plan that she's hatched. It's not going to go anywhere. They know they're in the will now, so everything's like, you know. Um, you know, the new producer on the show, Lee Sayat, <laughs> will be taking over next week. Some, that's how dumb people are. Somebody messaged me like, is Ben really leaving? Remember the time like we were nice to each other for one moment and they were like, are you guys, are you leaving the show?